On the news at five, we showed you some of the backlash that UTSA received after removing the come and take it slogan from the athletic department. But there were others who actually supported President Taylor Amy's decision to do so. RJ Marquez dives into more of the emails for and against removing that phrase. Through a public records request, KSAT has obtained nearly 200 emails pertaining to the decision UTSA President Taylor Amy made after he decided the university would no longer use the come and take it phrase for athletics. Emailers range from donors and alumni to staff and bank executives. Many called Amy a coward for removing the phrase and said he was surrendering to cancel culture. Others said they would no longer donate to the university or buy tickets to Roadrunners games. The UT System Board of Regents also blasted Amy, saying the board did not support abandoning traditions and history that means so much to students, alumni, and other Texans. But some emailers have different views. A UTSA professor wrote in part that it was a difficult but smart leadership decision. Thank you for listening and for your commitment to serve our Hispanic community. Another thanked Amy for having the strength to remove the phrase. Writing the longer the issue dragged out, the more damage it would bring to the athletic program and UTSA. While another wrote, I am a native Texan and until recently never considered that phrase through the lens of those who might have been negatively impacted. When Amy made the decision, he wrote in an email that the phrase adopted by the athletics department six years ago had become a distraction from UTSA's mission and become increasingly affiliated with cultural and political issues beyond its traditional historical context. The phrase was removed from the new UTSA athletics facility and all buildings and digital properties associated with the university. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.